why am I such a loser? Like a loser, like a loser. A person who loses things all the time, but also probably the other, the other loser as well. Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then welcome to my channel. My name is Imogen and it is Tuesday, which means it is Tutorial Tuesdays. Yeah! This year, Tutorial Tuesdays, I mean, not Tutorial Tuesdays, Tuesdays have been on really great dates. Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve. Wait, is it going to be New Year's Eve? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it'll be New Year's Eve right now. Coming to you, New Year's Eve, I hope because this look is based all around that specific day. I hope you all had an amazing Christmas. I hope you all got everything you wanted and you did everything you wanted to do and you ate food and you laughed and you drank and you had a really bad hangover the next day and had to get a bus all the way back from Aberdeen to Glasgow. So that's what I had to do. <laughs> nah, it wasn't actually that bad, it was fine. Today I have created this look it is a New Year's Eve inspired look. It's got glitter, it's got sparkles, it's got wings, it's got an eyebrow tutorial. It's my first eyebrow tutorial, so stay tuned if you want these brows. It's got some new products, some old products. It's got a red lip. I hardly ever do a red lip, so enjoy it while you can. If you like the look of this look, then stay tuned because you will find out how to create it. As usual, I will be posting pictures of the look on my Instagram. I'll leave the handle in the description below, but it's just Imogen Sahara. If you want to give that a follow too, I would appreciate a lot. I hope you are all well on your way. Getting drunk? No, I'm just kidding. For this will be hard to do drunk. This is freaking hard to do sober. So if this, I don't know what time I'll put this up. I'll maybe put this up a bit early on the Tuesday because there's no point being up too late because then nobody will see it and nobody will be able to use it. Right, I think I've spoken enough. I speak throughout the video, you don't need to hear me talk even more. Um, I think I've said everything. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If I said that yet? Oh, the next scene, I'll probably look a bit freaky. Camera will be zoomed in and I'll have one eye done just to so you don't get a shock of your life. I thought I'd just do one eye before doing the other eye. Because you don't need to see me do both eyes. You only need to see me do one eye, then you just copy doing that on the next eye. The next eye? The, the other eye. Yeah. Okay, just go, just go, just go. I'll see you there. Let's go. Hi, how are you? So, this has happened. You can't really look like this on New Year's Eve, then when the hell can you? Right, so I have no idea how this looks on camera. If I was going to do it again, and I'm ashamed to say how many times I did this, I would definitely put the concealer in here before you put the glitter, obviously. I was just getting annoyed with myself. The concealer first, this is the too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in shade Taffy. We're just putting that on the lids as usual. And then Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder to set that down. So I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette because I love it. And I'm going to go in with the shade In Fuego. In Fuego. Fluffy brush and put that in the crease. Focusing most of the product on the outside of the eye but blending it into the inner corner. And then taking a different brush, I'm gonna go in with He Devil. It's like the middle color. And I'm just gonna blend that above where I've blended just to create a kind of transition. And I also like to dip in between the two. So one dip in He Demo, one dip in Infuse. 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 You see? I just feel like that creates a really nice transition shade. And then with my finger, I like to use my ring finger, but you can use any finger you like. I'm going to go in with the shade 
Scorched. So it's a shimmer shade. It's gorgeous. Much easier to do this when you don't have claws. Especially trying to get it in the inner corner. So the pigment that I have used is called Sticky Toffee Pudding and I've seen it, I keep, I kept seeing it all over Instagram and I friggin' loved the shade so I had to buy it. I've not entirely worked out the best way to use it yet, I literally just got it today. So you might be like, what the, what the frick is she doing? But we're just gonna go with it. Learn baby, learn. So what I did was take a like a cut crease brush and spray it with the Urban Decay All Night Tour setting spray. This is what the pigment looks like. Stick your wet brush in it. So pretty. And then stick it on the eye. You definitely need to do eyes first on this kind of look because you're gonna get hella fallout. You basically just need to keep doing that until you get the consistency or the vibrancy that you want from the pigment. Okay, so we're gonna clean up. I'm gonna clean up this bit first. It does definitely get everywhere. Okay, and then for liner, I'm gonna use this Esquido liner. It's a brown liner. It looks like this. And it comes with a little mini sharpener, which I think is so freaking cute and practical. I really like them because they're kind of waxy, so you can stick it on and then use a brush to move it around a bit. And because I've used a brown liner, it's not as dramatic. It kind of blends in with the eyeshadow. So it doesn't really have to be amazingly perfect. Bring it a little bit under the eye as well. Just halfway. And I'm also putting it in the waterline. And for eyebrow highlight and inner corner highlight, I used the Morphe palette in 9A Always Golden and just the gold shade. It's nice on the brow bone. I think having a bit of gold in there really brings out the gold in the pigment. I'm also going to take the shade, the last shade in the heat palette is called Ember. I stuck that under the eye. And then I also just buffed that out with the scorched colour that we used on the lid. I'm just taking that under the wing as well. I will go and put an eyelash on and I'll be right back. And voila! For the glitter, to hold the glitter in place I'm using this which is the best product ever. If you don't know what it is, it's called Mixing Liquid. It's from the brand Meron. And basically it sticks things down, but the coolest thing it does is change powders into liquid. So if you've got a really cool eyeshadow color that you want to do a liner with, this your guy. That's what he does best, I think, for me anyway. Um, you can just take a little bit of that shadow, mix it with the liquid, and then draw it on as a liner. So, really cool. I would highly recommend this product. You can also use it to place the pigment on. I just wanted to do something different, so I used the setting spray. I think this would make the pigment a little bit thicker. It would make it more of a liquid rather than the um, setting spray just kind of stuck it on. But... We'll see. I mean, we won't see because I'm not doing that right now, but you can see. You see. What I'm going to do is use a spoolie. I just think this gives a nice kind of blob. <laughs> so if you dip that into the glitter and place it on the inner corner, I think it gives the perfect kind of area, space of glitter. I'm going to dip that in the mixing liquid. Just the tip, not the whole thing. And then pick up some of the glitter and place that on the inner corner. 
So this is definitely quite chunky glitter. Wow. Right, so that is very chunky. The good thing about with this liquid is you have plenty of time to play around with it. It won't stick in place right away. I'm trying to keep the big chunks in the corner and then slowly fade it out into littler chunks. I also think this would look cool with a gold glitter, but I didn't have gold glitter. Hey, well that'll do. I was going to do my brows off camera and then I remembered that one of you did want to see how I do my brows, so I'm going to do them on camera. Let's go. I'm going to go in with this liner again. I know it's a liner, it's not an eyebrow pencil, but it is very versatile because it's a gel eyeliner. It works for me on my eyebrows. If you don't want if you don't have this, you don't want to use a liner. Any eyebrow pencil will do pretty much the benefit precisely. Precisely my brow, is it called? I use that as well in shade four. Um, it's less chunkier than this, so it's a bit easier. I'm just changing up a bit, you know? And what I do with my brows is, so I start on the arch. That's where you want most of your product. Also, when you're doing brows, a spoolie is your best pal. If you're not from Scotland, that means friend. Then I bring that down the brow, but I try and focus it mostly. I don't really go inside, you know, towards the lid. I stay above, above the brow. Like so. And then the spoolie just helps disperse that product more evenly. Get rid of any kind of clumpy bits. And then I'll take the spoolie, once I've got some of the product on the spoolie, I'll take it down to the front. This is making sense. Okay, and then when I have the shape I want, I just go in with the Benefit Gimme Brow. It's actually called Gimme Brow Plus and it's sturdy. <laughs> this is shade 4 I use. And then I'll just put that in my brows. So I do go into the front with this product the front of the brow. This stuff also helps your brow stay in place. It's like got fibres in it I think but also some kind of gel stuff. And that's how I do my brows. Fluffy brows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay so we're... I was gonna do just an eye look but I may as well just do... I may as well just do, do a whole look and give you... give me a whole new look for the new year. You get me? I use the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer because I just need it to be great and I'm giving it another chance. I've seen people just putting it on like the middle of their face. So let's do that. I'll zoom these out a bit actually. Sweet bit. Definitely does make your skin smooth, like I will give it that, but it definitely leaves a white cast. So I'm going to try something that I've seen happen on Instagram. People put, this, so this is the Iconic London Illuminator. It's a highlighter, but people are putting it in their foundation to give their like whole face a glow. So I'm going to try it. I never really even worked out how to use this as a highlighter, never mind a bloody primer, but I'm just going to stick to the areas that I would put highlighter on. Well, <laughs> okay, I put way too much on my forehead, but it's okay, it's okay. And then I'm going to go in with the Dior Forever Skin Glow Foundation. This is my fave right now. It's in shade 3W0. I used to put foundation on all the time with my hands. <laughs> See, when you start using brushes and sponges, it's actually really difficult to go back to hands. And it could be these bloody nails. Mm, I don't know if I actually noticed that big a difference. I'm going to use the same concealer that I used on the eyelids. I'm just going to try and go as close as I can. 
This looks weird. All right, I'm having to just kind of pat over the glitter, which is obviously gonna put concealer on the glitter and therefore make it less sparkly. Ooh, that works. Okay, so I'm just using a wipe and going really gentle over each glitter bit to get the concealer off. Obviously you just won't be doing this because you'll do the glitter after the concealer. Learn from my mistakes. Ah, I just pulled a bit of glitter off. No. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Moving on to contour, liquid contour, Benefit Quickie Contour Stick. This is my fave at the moment. I'm gonna go in with the Nip and Fab bronzer that I used Think, did I use it in my last video? I can't remember. In one of my videos before anyway, because I really liked it. Then I'm gonna set the face with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, because it is the best thing in the whole entire world. It literally fixes any mistakes that you make on your face. I can't find my cool shaped brush that I used to bake my cheeks, so I'm just gonna try and do it with this with the big fluffy brush. Okay, definitely doesn't work. Right, so I'm just powdering all the points that need powdered, my T-zone. I'm gonna take a little bit of the powder and do under my eyes. I would normally leave doing the under eye till after I'd done this step. But obviously I didn't today. And then I'm gonna set my face. So sometimes when I set my face after I've done eyes, it transfers. So cool tip, sunglasses. Dry, but not too dry because you want your highlight to stick. Today for highlight I'm going to use the Becca highlight in Opal and highlight that face. No highlight? Highlight. No highlight? Bam! I like a little bit on the tip of my nose while I'm doing this. I'm doing it with the lightest hand, like I'm barely even touching my nose. Then I like to just whistle it up my nose, the bridge of my nose a little bit. Just lightest hand again just the leftovers and take that a little bit onto my forehead. Just do this. It's just what I like doing, okay? Lots of people don't put highlight on their chin, but I do. I don't really, again, I don't really know why. I just don't feel like my face is complete without a little bit of highlight on my chin. And that is face complete. If I end up wearing this look on New Year's Eve, I would probably go with a nude lip because I'm me. Well, not a nude lip, but a more neutral colour lip, like maybe a purpley nude. The lip I used in the last New Year's Eve grunge look, I would probably wear with this look as well. But for the purposes of this video, and if you're going to wear a red lip, it's going to be New Year's Eve, right? So I'm going to do a red lip. Personally, I would always do an ombre lip when I do a red lip. I just like it better. And my favourite thing to do is do a brown on the outside with a red in the middle. This is a Lime Crime Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Salem. For liner I'm going to use the Rimmel Lasting Finish Liner in shade Cappuccino. It is my go-to liner at the moment. I think it works with literally any lipstick because it's like a brownie nude. The Salem Lime Crime Matte Liquid Lipstick. I'm going to put it on my lips, but I'm going to miss out the middle. Now it is so pigmented, as you can see. It is dark. Then before it completely dries down, I'm going to take, this is a Maybelline lipstick, it's really old, it's like a Kate Moss, the red one, Kate Moss, I don't know if it's still about, but this is definitely really old, it's probably out of date. But I'm just going to stick that in where the brown one isn't, 
And as you can see, that is a red red. And just kind of spread it out. So that it mixes with the brown. If you just dab them together, then I'm going to do the same on the top lip. And definitely don't forget to do the trick so the lipstick doesn't go on your teeth. Always forget to do this. Yeah guys, that is the finished look. Hope you learned a lot. You hope you learned from my mistakes. Um, number one mistake, don't put the glitter on before you do your under eye concealer. Just don't do any under eye before you do your concealer. Number one tip. Number two, I did like the um, Iconic London highlight thing. It didn't do a massive amount, but I didn't put a massive amount on. So if you do want to practice doing that, it's safe to do. Go ahead, do little bits at a time. What else? What else did I learn today? That Urban Decay primer is growing. It's growing on me. It is growing on me. I thought that might happen. I think my expectations were too high the first time. This time, it is good. Ooh, the Sticky Toffee Pudding Pigment. I knew I was going to love it, that's why I bought it. But yes, just yes, and yeah, buy that. I actually really forgot about Lime Crime Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I have like 25 colours somewhere. And I forgot how much I love them. They're so good for doing ombre things. You can buy like a really bold colour and just do what I've done, but have like a like a nude even lipstick and melt them in together. They're and they they stay on forever. So yeah, they're good. I hope you liked my eyebrow part of the video. I haven't done eyebrows on camera before. I don't think so. That was first. And if you're thinking about getting that eyeliner, it is good because it does dual things. It does eyeliner and it does eyebrows. And yeah, I think that's it guys. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. It's on this side. I finally learned what side it was on. I kept doing this. But no, I'm 99% sure it's going to be on this side. <laughs> so I hit the subscribe button. If you want to, you can put on, hit the little bell that's next to that subscribe button I think and put on notifications because that will alert you the next time I post a video and if you liked this one then you might like the next one. I really hope you can use this look if not for New Year's Eve then for some time in the new year and I just want to wish you all the happiest of New Year's. I'm sending lots of love and joy and happiness your way. I hope you have an amazing time. If you're getting drunk, I hope you don't get too drunk and embarrass yourself. I know I probably will. And I hope you've all had an amazing Christmas. And yeah, I'll see you next time. I'll see you in 2020, bitches. Woo! Bye! Um... What was I saying? The pieces, pièce de res, the pièce de res, pièce de résistance specific. <laughs>